Hey, what's up? Um, judging by the title, I know what you're probably thinking right now. Um, it's probably just another clickbait video, but listen, um, I live in Florida, right? So, you know, recently they just opened up beaches down here and like, you know, I, I couldn't just stay home anymore. Like I was tired of staying home. I know we supposed to be quarantined throughout this whole Corona, but I haven't posted a video in two months and like being trapped inside, like I'm an outside person, bro. And it's, it's, it's annoying, bro. Like, so I, I went out to the beach. I went out to the beach and, you know, I, I went out and did a little video. But after when I did the video, I think like three days after, I started feeling funny. Like I wasn't feeling 100%. Like I will wake up and I'll still be tired and like I will still be fatigued. Like I just got done working out. I'll have like shortness of breath and all that. Like I, I just wasn't feeling myself after I, when I went out to the beach to record a video um you know i don't want to think what it is but i don't really want to put that in my head because i hate when i put something in my head and i start thinking it is that what it is but i don't think it's not but like after when i went from the beach i don't feel like how i was when i went when i came back home um i haven't been coughing or anything like that but it's just like i haven't been feeling like 100 percent physically like physically my body feels drained like slowly like it's like like it's like like every day like it feels like i'm working out but i'm not you feel me here's the video that i recorded at the beach and i'll show you what's the freakiest thing you ever did in college one time i had sex in the fucking staircase <laughs> no. And I'm judging. Yeah, in the circus, we had sex. Oh, was it fun? It was great. It was what, great. <laughs> what about you? Alright, this kind of. I don't know if I can say this kind of yeah, fucked. Yeah. Alright. I worked at McDonald's. Uh huh. I was closing one night. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so fuck. Alright. All right. Uh, My girl wouldn't appreciate me saying this, but. Yeah. I was closing down, she was visiting. Uh huh. We closed down the whole joint, locked the doors, went in the back by the fryers. <laughs> Dirty ass sex for like <laughs> hours on end, bro. It was greasy. It was absolutely greasy. What's the freakiest thing you ever did in college? I got fucked in a hospital. <laughs> what, what happened? What, how did it that... wasn't me. I was visiting someone in the hospital and they were in a hospital bed. And I said, bend me over the bed, and he fucked me in the hospital. <laughs> a hospital. A hospital. <laughs> the question for today is, what's the freakiest thing you ever did in college? <laughs> I mean, the only thing is let someone eat me out for so long. <laughs> How long? Like 20 minutes. Hmm. What about you? What about you? Um, we had uh, we had sex in the uh, the little what's that thing? It's a little building inside of our little school. The little building. Yeah, it's inside of it's inside of our school, and I had sex in there. What's the freakiest thing you ever did in college? I ain't gonna cap. I fought a bitch in the passenger seat of my in like her car in my driveway like two weeks ago. Mm. <laughs> bitch is down in the front seat, sucking my dick from the uh, floorboard. <laughs> <laughs> what about you? What about you? Freakiest thing I did in college was in the bathroom. Bathroom in college. Bathroom. Bathroom. In her bathroom or regular? I ain't even public. Public. Stairs in the basement. Oh. What about you? What about you? I guess I could say I fucked someone in the dorm's bathroom. They're a dorm bathroom? Um, you know, I was gonna say what she said. Um, I fucked someone in Thomas Morris parking lot. Ooh, park. okay. She said Thomas Morris. Okay. What about you, boss? Field trip. <laughs> like field trip on a space field trip. Yeah. <laughs> so the question for today is, what's the freakiest thing y'all ever did in college? Freakiest? Yeah. Oh, this guy, you already talking about him? Hey, my guy right here. He, he's known. He what his game is, he shuts the lights off and he plays who's in my mouth. <laughs> what about you? I went to FAU. That's, that's, that's the, it? That's the freakiest thing? 
Th the freakiest thing you did in college was one time for you? Yeah, I hated my life. <laughs> this got dark. <laughs> I can't say on camera. <laughs> what about you? I got nothing for you. <laughs> what about you? No, just a, just a, just a good old fashioned game of who's in my mouth is probably the. Uh, that's <laughs> what about you? I just got here yesterday, right? Yeah. And there's been three girls that are already pregnant. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 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 Maybe Your, her best friend's pregnant? What's the freakiest thing you ever did in college? <laughs> I put handcuffs on a nigga and I, um, never mind. Yeah, well, I don't know. Oh, relax, relax, relax. <laughs> <laughs> she put, hand, you put handcuffs? Yes. So you wouldn't leave? Yeah, we had a good time. It was fun. That's the freakiest thing I've ever done. In college? Yeah, just handcuffs and we had a good night. That's all I can say. <laughs> what about you? I mean, I don't remember. Like, <laughs> I didn't know how good it was. You don't like, remember? Like, he... my head was almost hanging out the window. Like, it was it was bushed against the blinds. <laughs> what about you? <laughs> uh, He's like your friend. Like, I had a boyfriend and that's, I don't know. I, yeah, see, I had a she, she had a years. boyfriend. We just broke up before spring break. Okay. That's why I'm having a good time. Okay. <laughs> you miss him? Um, yeah, yeah but fuck that nigga, I just shouldn't miss Okay, him. okay, what, what about you? Um, really, I don't know, all I did, I, while all my roommates was in the room, well, not in the room, we have apartment style stuff, so we got our own room and our own bathroom. Yeah, so, like, while they was in the house, basically, because we got apartments. We ain't calling. So, y'all did it in front of each other? No, ew, no, 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 never, never. What? what? I'm majoring in medical technology and I'm minoring in Spanish. I'm oh smart. What you mean? Okay, basically what? we didn't do it with each other. Like I, we have a, we have a four bedroom, four bathroom. I did it in my room, but everyone was home plus more people with my door closed. But so I'm not orgy. No. Ew, never. I'm a never. child of God. I'm a child of God. I'm born. I'm real. Okay. So everybody say spring break on three. One, two, three. Spring break. Yeah, so like I said, after when I filmed the video, um, I just wasn't feeling like myself. I wasn't feeling 100% at all. I don't, like I and I don't want to think what it is, and it should not be. And I know I should have stayed in quarantine. I should have listened. I should have listened to my mom. I should have listened to everybody. But, like, I just wanted to go outside. I'm tired of, <sighs> I'm, I'm tired of being in home, in home, bro. I'm tired of being home. Like, I'm tired of all this. I'm tired of being quarantined. Like, it just doesn't make sense, bro. And to be honest, I was one of those people that just thought it wasn't real. Like, I just thought it wasn't real. I thought it was not what it was, but it is just killing me, bro. Like I said, like, I don't feel 100%. Now, I don't want to think what it is, but, you know, I did schedule an appointment to go get checked out, to, you know, go get tested. So, I have to make sure, you feel me, because... You know, I'm in a household with a lot of young people. And, you know, my mom, you know, she's very old. So, you never know, bro. So, I don't know. I just haven't been feeling 100%. And what I mean by I haven't been feeling 100%, I feel like I've been feeling lazy, man. I've been feeling lazy. I don't got corona. I've just been feeling lazy. You, you thought that. Now, when I said I wasn't feeling like myself, I meant I was feeling lazy. I haven't posted a video in two months. And I know y'all miss me. Y'all kept DMing me. Nate, post a video. Nate, post a video. Nate, post a video. Come on, chill, chill, chill. Listen, your boy was just feeling lazy, man. Your boy caught the laziness. You know, your boy caught the disease. You feel me? I know I'm stupid. I know I should be giving y'all content. I know I should be uploading consistently, consistently. I know I should be on my grind. Something that I preached about. Something that I post to reach my goal. One mil subscribers. But you know, I can't get to one mil if I'm not posting and being consistent. So you know what? I owe it to y'all. I owe it to y'all. It's my fault. You feel me? I was crap. I was crap. But we, 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 it's time to get back on the grind like we used to. Hey, bye, bye. But overall, though, listen, the reason why, like, I wasn't really posting is because, like, you know, I'm the type of person I like to be out and do things with other people. You know, when you're trying to elevate, 
You don't want to keep doing the same thing with the same people. You want to do it with different people, but you can't do it with different people because you don't want different people to cough on you. Then you get corona. Then after you get corona, you get hepatitis. Then after you get hepatitis, you get HIV. Then HIV to AIDS. Then AIDS to dying. I didn't even say my intro, bro. Can I say my intro for y'all real quick? I know y'all miss it. Let me say it for y'all for the coach. <clears throat> Yo, what's up, YouTube? It's yo boy. John Vacabon, aka whole lot of green moss, aka. <clears throat> Say it with me now. Nate, so ugly in this bitch. Back at it again with another YouTube video, yes sir. But listen though, that because I wasn't uploading on YouTube doesn't mean I wasn't uploading on TikTok. So y'all follow me on TikTok, I'll be uploading like every week on TikTok, you feel me? And that because I wasn't uploading on TikTok doesn't mean I'm uploading on Instagram. Y'all follow me on Instagram, I'll be posting, I'll be, you know, and if I'm not posting on Instagram, if I'm not posting on TikTok, if I'm not posting on YouTube, then I'm posting on Snapchat because I'm now I'm trying to be on that like every day. I'm trying to connect with my fans. Now listen, I, I know I could be going on and on about what I'm about to do for this channel, but you know what? Action speaks louder than words. But let's reminisce of the good old times, the old Nate. Then yeah, we're gonna bring to the new Nate on the next video when I'm finna drop Mighty Mighty soon after this video. You feel what I'm saying? Anyways. It's your boy, they so ugly. You feel me? Let's, let's warm up. We back. We back, baby. We back, okay? I got one question for you, one question only, all right? If you had one message to your ex right now, what would it be? Fuck you. Waste of time, nigga. I want you back. Come suck this dick. Let me hit it one more time. Say that again? <laughs> I call it CNN because she old news. So the question for today is, am I ugly? No, you're not ugly. Am I ugly? Like, what's what's my why? Why you don't think I'm ugly? I don't know. You got dimples. You kind of cute, I guess. Oh. oh my god! Oh my god! He's so dark. He's so handsome. Oh, on a scale of one to ten, what would you rate me? Like an eight. An eight? Like one out of ten? You're not that cute now. <laughs> All right. On a scale of one to ten, what would you rate me? A one. A one? Yeah. Just because you got a boyfriend? Like if you didn't have a boyfriend, what would you rate me? Oh, what? So I'm ugly. That's what you're trying to say. You ugly as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> so the question for today is: Am I cute enough to be your boyfriend? Nigga, what? Am I cute enough to be your boyfriend? Boy, I will eat you alive. Am I cute enough to be your boyfriend? I mean, you attractive to some people, probably. What? Tell them what your name is. Marty. Well, I see you got the Dunkin' Donuts because she like the D. Ha! <laughs> got it! So what do you like? I like what I like. So you want to be single? Yes. Oh, so you a hoe? Oh, shit! Oh, shit! Oh, shit! <laughs> oh, that's what it is. She's cheating. Am I cute enough to slide in your DM? No. And the question for today is, what is one secret your ex doesn't know about? Um, when I shit, I don't wipe my ass. Wait, what? That I fucked her cousin. Ooh! I fucked her sister. What? So I pissed on her and she thought it was nuts. Had me a little, a nice little white woman, you feel me? Mm. But, um, mm, I told her we gotta break up because my mom, my mom was a slave, but really, I had to break up with her because I was fucking with her friend. I'm glad the baby ain't mine. Oh. I got AIDS. I cheated on her. Mm-hmm. With another hoe. What? And here's the crazy thing. Yeah. I made that hoe my girlfriend. Right? And I cheated on her with my ex again. Hey, come here. <laughs> I fought the other girl. <laughs> 
Which do you prefer, light skins or dark skins? <laughs> I prefer Spanish. <laughs> Which do you prefer, though? I mean, if it, if I wasn't going out with him, I'll go out with dark skins. Oh my God! Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Whatever I like. Mm. And I like yo dark chocolate sexy ass. Light skin. Why light skin? Cause they look better. Bitch, what? What about dark skin though? I mean, they cute, but I don't know, bro. Light skins got better dick too. What? You like them thick or skinny? Thick. Oh, oh, like big thick, like no, a lot like like slim, like slim thick. Yeah. Petite. Yeah. So you're a pedophile. Wait, what? Yeah. Dark skin, duh. Why dark skin? Cause I like my shit big, duh. Man, she wants the dick. Ooh. Dark skin's freaky though. Ooh. I ain't, I ain't gonna lie to you. Like, her right there, I'm a little baby right there. Turn the camera on her. Oh. <laughs> so the question for today is, what's the chances of me giving you head? Zero. Seven out of ten. Bitch! That's a good question. That's a good question? How good are you? Probably like a 70. Probably like 50. Yes! Why a 50? Because I don't know you. So if you got to know me? Maybe. I could give you money while giving you head. No, you could just give me money. Period. Period. I'm gay. I don't care. You're gay? Yeah. I mean, this this tongue can turn you. So if y'all didn't have a boyfriend, what would be my percentage? 100%, 100%. Why 100? I can't tell you all that details. <laughs> what about you? 100. 